Impressionisme, Paris, 2013. Both sky and wall are blue. There are palm trees and orange trees, tables with seashell green lamps, lots of them, lots of books too. Poetry is writing into her notebook, another book on top of the world. Most women are naked. Most of the men discuss something, ride on horses, hold swords, or are dead, with a cat watching their grave. Most of the women are saints, or philosophy, nature, or truth, naked. They receive visions, sometimes they read books or hold objects. Most of the men are fighting or dying. Most of the women are praying or screaming. One has to learn how to live one's life sort of on the go, while task and technique of living reveal themselves gradually as opaque. Those statues never move, no matter how long one watches them. They do not question the plinth they stand on. They were put there by the one who made them. That's enough of a reason to stay there. Even if someone knocks them over, they will probably stay connected to their plinth, then lying horizontally on the lawn. That's standing. Then this plinth and their stone body will display the gradual history of their origin. Maybe that's how we should stand on the earth, this planet, or we could try to at least. The shape of a body carved out of a block of stone, then the body of stone on a block of stone. But yes, we walk around and still we stay on our plinth too. Getting on an airplane doesn't really count as leaving the planet. Arrête, horrible. Auch er spricht darüber, wie die Zeit hier anders vergeht. Drei Monate sein wie ein Jahr, sagt er. Er schreibt niemanden, will niemanden schreiben. Außerdem sagt er, er lerne zu sehen hier und ich weiß, was er meint. Ich denke, ich weiß, was er meint. 100 Jahre später scheint es das Gleiche zu sein. Ist es das Licht? This light? There seems to be more of it here. A more generous amount for each object and each subject. Es gibt genug für alle und alles. Diese Großzügigkeit, sie berührt mich. The objects get used to it already. They stand very still, patiently, taking it all in. I'm still nervous sometimes, fearful it might come to an end. And on some, and on, on some days when I wake up and the sky is covered with clouds, I recognize that I'm somehow feeling a sort of satisfaction, almost thinking, ah, see, now it's over with all the surplus of night. I knew it would come to an end. Soon the clouds disappear and it doesn't, it just doesn't end. <coughs> all those huge paintings, I wonder if in general I prefer the library to the museum. The immediate exposure of the museum is so extreme. Everything is there at the same time. Each moment of the past is suddenly now. Hundreds, thousands of angels, soldiers, prostitutes, peasants, kings and queens, children and animals, buildings and landscapes, ships and all those people who commissioned portraits of themselves or others. They are there together with the people who came to see them, the paintings. A green liquid sinks into the sugar and when lit on fire burns with a blue flame which jumps into the glass from the spoon. The other one is dark orange at first. In contact with water it melts into a pale icy lemon yellow. I had a sort of revelation this morning during a lucid dream about the complications of receiving and giving and how they shape the subject in such a distinct way. The mother of the five little ducklings, if bread is being thrown into the water, tries to get it faster than her ducklings. If she can get it first, she eats it. They are often faster, but sometimes she jumps into the middle of the small group and fights for her piece of bread with her offspring. Apolitical, 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 a. I forgot my impressions. I tried to preserve a certain amount of very vivid ones the past week, but now they seem to be gone or far away in my memory, merely faded outlines of narrative remained. Nothing of the quality of what had impressed itself on me. One was, when I found the magnolia wood, all I wanted to do was cover it with paint. Since then, the impressions were a transformed within this process of material on material into stubborn transcendence, or b lost, because any need to live through the details of a variety of experiences was consumed by the sheer intensity of color on wood, wood taken from color. This is all I wanted once I could.
O oh, coral sun, coral sun, adrift, a satisfied lava lunatic, generic emblem of melting. I leave my mark on you, you lizard of us all. Why did you make the dinosaurs die? We miss them now. We are in uncertainty about size and longing. We create a lot, we do our best to do it every day, and sleep comes to us when we turn our heads, when we change our minds. Caves are flooded and with them each drawing or trace we left on those walls to make sure we don't forget we were here and with us the animals we liked to eat once we knew about fire and long after we swam with those dinosaurs. We never flew, we barely dared to look up, we sent our prayers, we left pieces of meat in the prairie in hope for your grace and goodwill. The drawing of your hair hits the wall with such extreme tension that I don't know what to say. I think it is time to speak about money, it is time to get paid, always is time to buy, it's time to touch base on the bank account. I care, I care about you, that's why. Ink, ink, more ink please. I want a necklace of hand-picked coral baby bones. Will you get it for me, will you baby? Your water is my water, is our water. Finally he says it, dinosaur blood.